spot spraying thistles today. If you don't take care of these before they go to seed head, you can see the seed heads there. Uh, if they go to seed, you lost your food plot. These things are aggressive. Now it's too windy today to do this, but I'm four hours away from this property, so it's not like I can go away and come back later. I try to keep my droplet size big. In fact, I'm going to make it bigger. So I don't get a lot of wind drift. And we'll get some collateral damage, but that's okay because it's better than letting the thistles go. Deer are in here feeding pretty heavily on the clover. Clover came in nice. And we got daisies, which is good. They don't hurt anything. It makes for a real pretty meadow. Um, I'm going to go up through here and get these thistles for a while. And uh, that's about all I got to say about that. I'm using Roundup, Roundup Pro uh, with a little uh, dicamba in it. Roundup is okay if you put it on pretty heavy. Thistles are tough to kill, so. <clears throat> Takes a pretty good dose. What I try to do is go straight down on the plant to try to minimize the other plants that I'm hitting. And then what we'll do, we'll see what things look like in the fall, but it's important when you have a lot of thistle around, you want to use no-till planting because if you bring any seed up from the subsurface to the surface, you'll get a whole lot of these. I learned that the whole, the, the hard way. <clears throat> Especially if you have a, a lot of fertilizer, you put a lot of nitrogen on and these guys just go bananas. You can see the wind is taking my overspray all over the place and uh, It's not ideal. Best time to do this would be late in the evening after the sun goes down. You don't have a lot of wind. Once I get these beat down, to where they're not really coming back anymore. We'll have better control over this field and then we can plant whatever we want and we don't have to worry about these. But it takes patience. You have to work at it for many years till you can eradicate these guys. The seed lasts a long time. And it's good to use a systemic um, like glyphosate so that you get the roots because they can put out a lot of roots and then sprout up from the root again even after you mow them you mow them they just get thicker so this is really what I was shooting for was a nice field of clover with no thistles in it and that's what I have right here all I have to do is just keep working at it this area I sprayed Pretty good last year. I don't have anywhere near the thistles this year. So, plan is working. <clears throat> 